Atari is usually given credit as the first gaming console when it came out in the 1970s. Some people also say that it started the first stereotypical Silicon Valley work environment that was more like a party atmosphere with no dress code. Before it was released on Atari, Space Invaders was such a popular arcade game that it led to a coin shortage in Japan. The creator of Space Invaders was influenced by the War of the Worlds book that became famous after it was turned into a frightfully convincing radio broadcast in the 1930s. The design for the famous Pac-Man came to the creator when he took out one slice of a whole pizza. The first National Space Invaders champ, and many argue the first esports champ of all time, was Rebecca Heinemann. Nintendo was a playing card company that started in 1889 before it got into video games in the late 1970s. Universal City Studios sued Nintendo because they thought Donkey Kong was just a King Kong knockoff. Universal lost the lawsuit and Nintendo named the game Kirby after the lawyer John Kirby who helped him beat the lawsuit. There was a real life job called a Nintendo Game Counselor where the counselors could help people get better at Nintendo video games. The gate-like system in Star Fox came to the designer when he was walking through the Inari Shrine in Japan. Burr, 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 burr. As you can see here, Sega went straight for Nintendo in their ad campaigns. Sega created Sonic to be a newer, cooler, and faster version of Mario Brothers, but they had trouble deciding on what the animal would be. One of the early frontrunners was actually a panda, but luckily in a Central Park field test, random strangers overwhelmingly chose the hedgehog. The designer of Sonic said he was strongly influenced by roller coasters when he made it. Game ratings didn't exist until Sega released Night Trap and Mortal Kombat. Both of these games pushed the limits of what was acceptable in a video game and led to the rating system we see today. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, the creators actually wanted to call the game Van Damme and feature Jean-Claude Van Damme. They couldn't reach a deal, but Johnny Cage is loosely based on him. Whoopsie! Perhaps the biggest breakthrough first-person shooter of all time was Doom, which I was really surprised to find out came from a Tom Cruise quote in the movie Color of Money when someone asked Tom Cruise, what do you have in there? And he replied, Doom. Madden Football started in 1989, but didn't feature any black players until 1995. What would you guess is the highest grossing video game and console of all time. If you guess Minecraft and PS2, you are correct. Televised esports, or the world of organized competitive gaming, has kind of been around since Rebecca won that first Space Invaders championship. In 2019, the industry grossed over $1 billion worldwide. Congratulations, now you can make a legitimate economic argument for playing video games all day. Some people argue that the worst video game in history was Atari's E.T. There were so many unsold copies that they buried some of them in the desert. What do you think is the worst game of all time? Here's a short list of some of my favorite video games when I used to have time to actually play them. What are your favorites?